What's going on, Cold Rollers? This is Po' Boy coming back at you. Hey guys, I know it's been a while, but we're finally starting to get some good weather here in Florida. All the rain, all that stuff kind of put a dent on our timeline, but hey, let's get started. So as you guys know from the last video we made, uh, we were taking care of uh, some of the areas here where we were trying to fill in all the little gaps and stuff like that. Today we're going to continue doing some of that and uh, try to fill all the gaps available here. And uh, we also have to remove the wiper mechanism here so that way we could put the cow that goes here that's been completely sealed up. That way, you know, this doesn't protrude and break uh, a hole through what we just did. So we're gonna remove this to start off and then I'm gonna continue uh, sealing everything up. This time we're gonna go all the way with the uh, speckle or uh, joint compound as, I, as it's called. And uh, we'll try to square everything out, make it look presentable and then uh, we'll move on to the sanding if we have some time today. So let's rock and roll. <laughs> all right guys so as you guys were able to see i took off the, the all the mechanism for the wiper blades and stuff um however when we brought the cowl out as you guys could see it's got like gator skin and that's because uh all the time that uh it's been waiting uh for us to get to this part anyway so all this area here that's flaking off i'm just gonna knock it out as much as possible like that softly and then we're gonna recover it while it's in place here since it needs to be blended in with the hood as well all together and the uh, fenders and all that good stuff so yeah let's continue going with that process see you in a bit Well guys, just, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, but uh, as I mentioned before, the weather, it was looking beautiful, and now, yeah, let's see, hopefully that stuff dries up before the rain falls. It's, uh, we got hit by the rain again, I don't know if you guys could see it, but, yep. Sad part is that all those materials go to waste. Uh, sorry, go to waste. Um, lucky for us is that, as you guys know, we're using joint compound, so it's not as expensive as using like body filler. And you know, it would have gotten ruined anyway because it rained right on top of it. And I work outdoors, but uh, hey, it's a little misfortune. A little bit more work later on. We're not gonna give up, so stay tuned. Two hours later, oh, still raining. So there was a break in the weather here, and uh, <laughs> I don't know if you guys could see this through the camera, but uh, yeah, most of the stuff just washed away with the rain. we need to get at it again so I guess what I'll be doing is uh, getting some more materials and uh, 
for our next video. We'll continue on that. All right, guys, so we're back inside all cleaned up. As you guys were able to see, we got rained out, <laughs> unfortunately. And yeah, all the stuff kind of washed off of the truck, you know, but that's no big deal. Like I said before, we are using joint compounds. So that's like dirt cheap, quite honestly. Um, you know, if I was using perhaps some Bondo and stuff like that, I'd be a little bit more upset due to the fact that it's so expensive compared to that. Um, you know, like I said, I, it, it's so inexpensive that you could buy 42 pounds for under 12 bucks and you could just, you know, play with it as much as you want. So it's no big deal. We'll continue on the next video doing the same thing over again. Um, like I said, you know, weather here in Florida has been quite uncooperative. That's why the delay on the videos. That's why we haven't done a video in almost, well, a little bit over a month. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really sorry. I, I, I sure missed you. You know, I did because I, I love making the videos and bringing content to you all. And I hope you guys appreciate it, too. But, uh, yeah, I want to send out a special hello to the guys over at DDPM, Dynamic Diesel Performance and Machine. Um, they're over in Michigan, and uh, they are one of the people who have helped us uh, to achieve our goal of the Ugly Betty build. Um, they sent us a little care package. You know, they have gifted us uh, some parts. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what they are. They are in the box here in front of me, and we're going to do a little unboxing. Um, so my surprise is going to be your surprise. So we're both going to be surprised at the same time. So let's jump into that. I'm kind of waiting to see what it is so let's see what we got here all right oh you see this is the best part right here starting off you guys see looky there made in the good old usa that makes me happy too so let's see what we got here pardon me with my little knife here and let's see how this one opens up so i don't mess it up we'll do a little here but yeah, um, they were so nice and so kind to send us uh, this little care package uh, in order for us to, you know, be able to continue doing our build and uh, obviously bring you guys some content as well so that way you guys could enjoy it. And uh, let's see, let's see what, he, what they sent us over here. I'm like so excited that I can't even find where to do the, the cuts for this box here. Let's see, did I get it right here? I think so. All right, one more here, like that. And one more here. All right. Ah, there they are. DDPM. Don't know if you can see the logo from there. Now let's see what we got here. Got some wrapping material. Ooh, look at here. Oh my gosh, guys. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Everybody over there at DDPM. This is huge. I, I really appreciate it. I, I'm speechless. But guys, um, let me just show you what I got here. Um, they have sent a whole set of lifters for the Ugly Betty build, brand new in box. Oh my goodness. This gets expensive, guys, you know? Brand new racing filter. Oh, they, these are, yeah, these are the good ones. And what we got here? from Molly oh my goodness is this what I think it is oh my god guys check it out looky oh my lord Molly this is this is crazy dynamic diesel performance push rods the race rods these are amazing holy moly guys I, I'm stunned. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate this. This is, oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you. I, I'm speechless. I really am. Uh, oh my God. Let me, let me put this away. I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I'm so excited. This is awesome. What we got here? Oh, perfect. They sent us some business cards. I will surely be giving these out to the people. So that way they could also contact you guys. But yeah, DDPM, Dynamic Diesel Performance. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. God bless you as always. Um, I, I'm, I'm really speechless, but I'm very grateful for your gift. This is, this is, this is amazing. I, 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 I I'm speechless. 
I don't think I've stuttered this much in a long time. I am, uh, wow, without a doubt, super, super stoked about this. So thank you so much once again. Guys, I mean, make sure you guys uh, check the link in the description. I'm going to be putting that on there tonight. And uh, make sure you check them out, you know, DDPM. Uh, they're over in Michigan, and uh, they, they sell a lot of stuff for the 7.3s as well as 6.7s. They, they, they do custom push rods. They do custom uh, uh, camshafts, you know, with their own grind specs, and uh, they got pistons and all that good stuff. So make sure you guys check them out at DDPM. Um, and uh, wow, <laughs> thank you once again, Dynamic Diesel. I really appreciate it, and uh, thank you for uh, supporting us and believing in our you know our mission here with uh, Po Boys Diesel. Now, I'm gonna. It's kind of hard to get off of that subject because I'm, I'm. I'm. I mean, I'm grinning from ear to ear. What could I say? But thank you once again. Um, but yeah, guys, don't you guys worry. Uh, we're gonna have a next video coming up soon. Um, we're gonna continue. We're gonna continue working on this. We're gonna get through that part, and uh, we're gonna start. You know, laying down some uh, fiberglass so we could continue with the mold, and uh, it's gonna come out real nice. Uh, so stay tuned. I love every one of you and let the coal roll.